When we arrived in Las Vegas, we rented a car and went to the Grand Canyon West, which is operated by the Hualapai Native American tribe. Along the way, we stopped at a couple of scenic view stopovers. It was very nice. There also was a Joshua Tree Forest, which is not to be confused with the National Park. We did not stop. We figured we didn't really have enough time. It's about two and a half hours from Las Vegas to Grand Canyon West. And all told, the entire day was a very long day, about eight hours, but it was worth every minute. Ooh. There's the smash bug. <laughs> and our driver. Thanks for getting us here safe, bud. The great thing about the drive from Vegas to Grand Canyon West for us is that it was very beautiful the entire drive. Not too bad of a drive, all told. So there's a large parking lot. You'll park. Then you'll go inside and from there on in, you take a bus from the different places. It's the van that got us here. I think it costs about $60, $65 a piece for us to go, and that included access to the Skywalk. No photography, no film, no cameras, no phones on the Skywalk. So as a result, you don't get any footage there. It is very cool. I think we probably would leave it off next time. I don't know that I would necessarily recommend you do the Skywalk. It's up to you. It is cool. But like I say, you can't take any photography or anything. So it, it's a nice experience. We had a guy who used to work for us, Fred Hillier, and he had a wiki up in the woods. He used to call it his wiki up, which is what these are called. They're called wiki ups. And I always thought it was like a, you know, just a word he made up, but apparently a wiki up is a real thing. After that, there's a little village. It was nice to just kind of walk around and check that all out. These cactuses? Well, Callie's about to flail into one, so let's wait and see. I <laughs> don't <laughs> Coop would like it. Yeah, it's perfect for well, us. How cold it keeps it. it yeah, yeah the mud the would keep it down a bit. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. Like how is this not just baking? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is all you need. Simple. Because if you would have to just have a wood structure. Simple lighter. <laughs> <laughs> no, doesn't even have to dump. Yeah, it's like a literal needle. <laughs> So Callie just learned a valuable lesson that cactus are indeed pointy and prickly. We're at the west rim of the Grand Canyon. And this is absolutely beautiful. This is Guano Point, and I'll head out to the point here next, which I think is over that way. All right, we're having a great day. The weather is absolutely beautiful. This is nice here. There's no ropes here. The first stop, Eagle Point, had ropes, and you couldn't go near the edge. But this place, you can go 
right out over the edge. Your mom won't be able to watch these parts. <laughs> None of us had ever been to the Grand Canyon before. I, I really can't recommend it enough. You definitely should see it if you ever have the opportunity. It's fantastic. Crazy. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Oh, it's the first time. Huh? Eric, is this your first time here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've never been to the Grand Canyon. Uh -uh. Nope. Way up there is where we want to be. At Guano Point, you can get a great panoramic view of the canyon. You just take and spin in a whole circle, and as you can see, it's just really fantastic views all the way around. Up there. As high as you can get. Better than being way over there, maybe. <laughs> we came up the hardest part. Yeah, we did. Wow. <laughs> it's really not much of a stretch to say that this may have been the kids' favorite part of the whole vacation. They really enjoyed it. That is the Colorado River. Right there. And that is Callie. And that is Ben and Marissa. And Jane is way over there somewhere. Amy did not come with us to the Grand Canyon. She is not a big fan of heights and she would not have liked this at all. Had she been able to see it from very far away and on solid ground, she'd have been all right, but this was not the place for that. Our next stop was the infamous Hoover Dam. We stayed here for about, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes, maybe an hour. The Hoover Dam is totally free. The parking garage is a $10 charge, but you get, there is free parking. You do not have to pay, but it is a bit of a walk from the free parking to the Hoover Dam. I don't think we'll I think go. we should at least go halfway. Yeah. yeah. We have to be between Arizona and... Yeah, we want to do that at least. So we can stand on two states. Yeah. yeah. Hoover Dam. There you go. Oh, the bridge from here. Picture the bridge there. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. We stopped here on our way back. We didn't want to do it on the way there, which I, I think is probably the best way to do it. It was very hot. I recommend you bring water on the trip. If you're driving yourself, make sure you have lots of water, bring it in a cooler, or even just bring water. It makes a big difference. If you don't want your mother to go to your wedding, 
No. No. No, if she was walking in the middle, she might. Slide down, no way. Well, well, I get rug burn. <laughs> Hope you had a good stay in Nevada. <laughs> and now we're switched over? Yeah, you're almost there. Almost there. All right. No questions other than first time. You definitely want to make sure you stop by the Hoover Dam because it, it is worth it. It's it's a nice little stop. We got there late, so the visitor center was closed. So if you want to see the visitor center, make sure you get there early. This family's divided. Is this it? You're divided. Yeah. Holly is divided in the cat. Don't touch you. I mean, it. I left lined up with your belly button. I did. <laughs> you your belly button. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Oh, and she didn't lose her mind. <laughs> One of the great things about the Hoover Dam is the fact that you can step from state to state with just one step and be able to physically see where you're stepping. I know you can do that in lots of places, but it, it's kind of cool to do it right out in the middle of that dam and everything. The kids really like that part of it. Thank you very much, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you in future videos, which after this we'll be going to Vegas for a day, and then we're headed to Maui, Hawaii.